What's up, everyone? Schnikey's back. Friday's back. Papa Shango's favorite day of the week. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is Freaky Friday time. And we have the star of today's episode, Jake the Snake Roberts, the newest member to the roster, the latest DLC. And he's coming down, obviously not with his music, not with his walk, not his jaunt. This is Randy Orton's, Randy Orton's uh, entrance here. So as you can assume, uh, Randy Orton will be coming down with Jake's entrance and Damien at hand. As you can see, he's walking. You can see, I don't know if you can notice the little cage up in the top corner. I don't know if you've seen the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a one-on-one -on -one epic match for the ages for WrestleMania 19 here. Jake the Snake Roberts with Randy Orton's soul versus uh, Randy Orton with Jake the Snake Roberts' soul. You know how it goes by now, right, guys? So we have Jake the Snake Robert here with uh, Randy Orton. He's going to have his entrance and his movesets in the ring. For those of you who don't know, when Randy Orton comes down, he will be coming down as Jake the Snake Roberts and fighting as Jake the Snake Roberts. And the reason I chose these two guys is because, A, he made a return on Monday, and that was effing amazing! Jake the Snake Roberts in the ring, not high, not drunk, not falling all over the place. Oh my god, DDP, you are a lifesaver, literally, because this man practically died. But anyways, the actual reason I chose these two is because it's like the past and the present of the psychological serpent. Uh, we have Randy Orton as he comes down to the ring with Damien in hand. But technically, this is Jake the Snake Roberts coming down. He's like, what the hell? You know, I, I know I feel good today, but I never felt this good. I feel like I need a cigarette, but aside from that, I feel young and youthful. Randy Orton probably came down to the ring and was like, my joints are a little achy. And I kind of feel like I'm... Uh, Wearing the mileage of a crack whore. Because <laughs> uh, of all the drugs he, Jake put in his body. Oh, uh, one of the best in-ring entrances. Oh, my God. Just lifts himself up. Lift up. Woo. Uh, maybe that's Damien's skull right there on his face, too. Well, Damien's not a viper. He's a python, so he didn't have those big-ass fangs. But I chose these two because, like I said, it was the past and present of the psychological serpent. Jake the Snake Roberts, he, he played the mind games. He got into his... Into the into the minds of his opponents before and after matches. Randy Orton is trying to do that. Is his mo the modern day version as good as he can? And uh, not to mention the obvious, the serpent, you know, persona of both of these guys, very snake-like. They uh, and then Jake Snake br brought Damien in, and he, you know, he loves this, the snake associated with reptiles. So is Randy Orton the Viper, right? Right. So there, there we have it. So now we have Randy Orton who is wailing away at Jake. But Jake blocks the punch and answers with a big punch to Randy Orton's face. Remember, Jake the Snake Roberts is, is Randy Orton and Randy Orton is Jake. So that's how I'm going to call it. I'm switching their names. I might sound a little hoarse, a little under the weather. It's because I'm trying to fight a uh, cold and a cough and a cough and a cold. As a hot shot goes to uh, 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 Randy Orton's throat. He probably is going to have a little cough after this. And a snapmare countering him and a European uppercut. And just whips his fist and knuckles into the face of Jake the Snake Roberts as he lifts him up for a big backdrop, landing him on the back of the neck. And the kick and gets him from behind once more. But Jake the Snake says, uh-uh, the veteran is in this ring. He's been around the world. He's wrestled for, for years longer than Randy Orton. He knows all the tricks. Hell, he probably wrote a lot of the tricks that Randy Orton tries, tries to emulate as Jake the Snake pokes and rips away at the face of Randy Orton and does a backdrop of his own I know all your moves Orton that's what he's probably yelling on his ear right now as he punches him in the face he got a little headlock there but Randy Orton counters he's experienced as well he's no rookie not 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 anymore at least big knuckle of the face oh big punch they're just squaring away in the center of the ring this is hell in a cell guys this is set to epic so we'll see how this as Jake the Snake Roberts hits the belly to belly step how this will bleed out hopefully to the outside of the ring hopefully on top of the cage Ooh, there could be weapons, there could be everything. Maybe the referee will get in on the action. Who knows what could happen? Maybe the referee will get hurt in the action and then have to retire. <laughs> and WWE will play little videos of him trying to commit suicide. They've done that before, ladies. <laughs> if you don't know about that. Anyways, a blatant choke now by, by Jake the Snake, who's, I think, a uh, uh, heel for the majority of his career. I could be mistaken. I didn't watch him too often. Uh, he was, just a personal information, he was one of my favorite... Actually, no, I'm sorry. That Jake, Jake the Snake didn't do that choke. I think that was uh, that was Randy to Jake because it was in Jake's body, I think. I don't remember anymore. 
But uh, anyways, back to a little personal information. I I love love loved Jake the Snake Roberts. I thought it was a shame or the, the avenue he took and and and, and how far if he fall he's fallen but uh, oh he plants a knee into Orton's face but I absolutely loved him like I used to I used to go crazy for all the the Hogan's and the Ultimate Warriors but I was like a really really little kid at that time so I was always going crazy over the ones they wanted me to go crazy over you know like the Santinos and John Cena's of the day <laughs> but uh, soon I, I learned what a good a good in-ring competitor you know what that entailed what that was and I fell in love in love with Jake the Snake Roberts. As now he is dizzy and Orton tried to capitalize, but Jake got underneath and then a drop toe hold from Orton. Punching him in the back of the head. These guys are not playing nice. They are not nice to each other. As Orton sends him to the rope. No, he comes back with a spinning body slam. And now Jake with a kick to the gut. Another kick to the gut and a punch jabs. Punches and kicks everywhere. Not a lot of grab, not a lot of holds in this match. Not yet, at least. It's just been a, a slobber knocker. This is, this is like a kickboxing MMA fight more than a wrestling match. And a big, big Superman-esque punch by Randy Orton. I don't know if either of these guys have adjusted. Their bodies aren't too much. Oh, there's a big counter by Jake the Snake. One, two, and a kick out of the last second. Two and a half. They're, these guys' bodies aren't exactly, uh, you know, the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, this is a younger Jake the Snake model, and they're both relatively fit. They're somewhat the same height, somewhat the same size, and their move sets aren't too far off. So this is almost, it's just similar to a mirror match in body as well as uh, spirit and persona. So we'll see how this turns out. As we see a big suplex from Randy Orton, who's taking full control. Jake the Snake stands right back up, eats a few fists, catches the foot, drop, drops down, Orton on the back, flips him around. He's going to break that R, maybe tenderizing so he can't get a good grip for the RKO. Who knows? Randy shoves him aside. <laughs> they collide into each other. And Randy eats another knee. I think that's the third or fourth knee he's taken. So you know that face is being tenderized, that head's being numbed for the big, uh, big DDT that Jake the Snake has mastered. Oh, we have a comeback from Randy Orton. I saw him get up with it. I didn't think he would use it. I didn't think he could pull it off, but he is. And he got it. He took the whole thing 100%. And now he's proceeding with the stumps. This is his signature, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think this Hell in a Cell match is even going to leave the ring. He goes for a pin immediately after the stomps and a kick out after one. Jake the Snake says you have to do a lot more than that. As he goes for the RKO, but Jake pushes him off. He counters. He counters. Oh, Orton needs a DDT. He countered the RKO. Orton stood up and ate a DDT right away. One, two, and it kicks out. Two and two point nine to give it out of, out of two out of like if if you divide three into even ten. It's, okay, two point five nine millisecond. Two and a half. Whatever. Two and seven eighths. Whatever you want to call it. And a high knee now. Jake the snake full control. One, two. Only a two count on that one. Gotta work the head a little bit more. I think that uh uh no, that brain damage of the brain of uh, Jake the Snake can take a lot more punishment. But we have a finisher right here after the wake-up time. A second DDT plants him. Plants him. I don't think this Hell in a Cell match is even going to leave the ring. Two. Three. It's over. That was, Ladies and gentlemen, that was an epic Hell in a Cell match. Yeah, an epic Hell in a Cell match. Lady, welcome to PG era, Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh... Randy did the job, and you you had a, a proper welcome home. Wow. Uh, okay, not as eventful. I I think the first Hell in a Cell I did was with uh, Undertaker. That was a little bit more uh, uh, something something. This this, this, yeah, this is a standard match, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't shell out the money for a pay per view unless I had the WWE Network, and then I put I put ten dollars in. What do I care about that? Uh, but uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, WrestleMania Hell in a Cell worthy, but it was a, it was a match, nonetheless. And it, it was okay. There you go, Jake the Snake. He's happy. He's, he's youthful. He has uh, the stamina. He can pull off his DDT with the ease. Randy Orton can't believe he got his RKO countered. What do you know? You know, it's a, a match is a match is a match is a match. I guess that was a match. We have our we have our winner, Jake the Snake. 
Roberts in Randy Orton's body beat Randy Orton in Jake the Snake Roberts' body. Huh. Well, that was kind of a quick match. But there you go. Anyways, leave your comments below. Uh, tell me who you want to use, uh, who I should use in a future Freaky Friday match. To the next time. I'm Shinekis, I'm out. Thank you!